yourselves cool. But it's lovely to see so many of you here. As always, Laura. thank you to our sponsors. You'll see them around uh, in the exhibition as well. Without these, you know, these companies and these people supporting us, we wouldn't be able to put this conference on. So you'll also hopefully have been given a exhibitor bingo card for uh, when you registered. So throughout the conference, if you visit one of their stands, they'll give you a little sticker and then you'll be entered into a prize draw, which will be free tickets to our events or some merch from our website. So no. if that's piqued your interest, do please um, participate. And you'll also see some sessions from some of our sponsors as well throughout the conference. So to introduce um, those of us that are here, that's not here yet, uh, but my name's Kerry Pinney. I work for Alt. Um, I'm their Chief Operations Officer. And then we have Donna. <laughs> do you want to say, do you want to say a little about yourself, Donna? Um, I have been entangled with uh, alt people for a while, so I'm on the conference committee this year. So um, if you see me um, and you need something, I can try to point you to a person who can help you. I'm probably not the person who can help you, but I will know who can help you. <laughs> And then Tirumini, well, I'm just introduce I've got yourself. My mic. So yeah, I'm Tirumini, uh, part of the conference committee, part of accessibility subcommittee as well. So if you need something, if I know it, I'll point you to the direction. Otherwise, I'll look for Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so here we are, hug hugs and yeah. <laughs> we also have Kath who isn't here um, this morning, but Kath will also be doing the VR experience. So throughout the three days, there's, oh, there she is, there's Kath. Point at Kath. <laughs> so there's Kath. <laughs> yeah. So Kath will be doing a VR experience as well upstairs throughout the conference. You'll see it in the program. So if you've not tried VR or you just want to go and learn how Kath uses VR in her teaching and learning and supporting her students, then pop upstairs throughout the conference um, to have a watch of that. So there's no such thing as a free conference. So I'm going to peddle some alt things, of course, as we always do before we get going and just tell you a little bit about alt if you're not aware of us. Perhaps this is your first time with us or perhaps I'll point something out that you didn't know that we do. And then Tirumini is going to lead us in a energizer session as well, just to, you know, if you're not awake enough yet, Tirumini will wake you all up and that will work for those online as well. And um, we'll do an icebreaker activity as well on your tables so that you can all start to get to know each other and chat to each other. You've already been chatting already, um, but we'll do that as well. And then there'll be time before Anne-Marie's keynote for you to go and get a coffee and have a little break before the keynote starts um, at uh, 10.30. Oh, 10 is the welcome in the main theatre. So that's the plan for this morning. And as I say, it's really great to see you all here, really pleased. We weren't sure if anyone would turn up at this time of day on the first day. So you all get a, a gold badge for turning up <laughs> so early. You'll also see around the venue as well, Santanu and Laurie. Um, they are our co-chairs. So Santanu and Laurie have um, been the chairs of the conference committee. They came up with the themes and you'll also see them um, at the start of our um, sessions in the morning at the start of the keynotes introducing um, the conference as well if there's anything you want to chat to them about anything about the conference you want to feedback uh, obviously you can speak to any of us that you've met here today but also Santanu and Laurie I'll also just point out the alt team as well that you'll see around the venue so Billy is our incoming CEO so tomorrow he officially takes the baton and starts officially as our CEO and at the same time Maren steps down tomorrow at the AGM um, and uh, steps down as CEO. So Billy will be our CEO um, from tomorrow onwards. Jane and Emily, you will have met at the desk. They've been uh, giving out the badges and things like that, and they'll be at the desk at all times. So if you have any problems and you can't find anybody, go back to that registration desk. There will always be somebody there. Katie is the person who has put all of this together. So she is our events manager. So again, if you need any help, anything you want to feedback on, um, Katie will do that as well. And Fiona, who's unfortunately unwell today, She's helping us out online, so she'll be helping out anybody who's joined us online today. So uh, that's the alt team, some of us, not all of us. Uh, and you'll also see upstairs the Amplify FE team as well. They've got a stand um, that Emma, Chloe and Lynn uh, will be on as well. So if you need any help, just give any of us a shout if you spot us around the venue. So I'll just say a little about who alt is. I won't say too much, you're here, so you must know that we exist, otherwise you wouldn't have turned up. Um, but what we really work to do is to strengthen the recognition and representation of learning technology and people who work with learning technology uh, in the sector. We enhance professionalization through things like our CMALT um, accreditation program, and we want to increase the impact of learning technology for public benefit. So those are some of the things that we do. And we uh, have 
several values. One is openness. So what you'll see is a few months after the conference, we will release everything that we have recorded here openly so that anybody can access it afterwards. We always live stream our keynotes completely publicly as well to try and you know widen and, and give as much participation as possible. We also value our independence and we also value collaboration and participation. And what you will see, as you've seen with the conference committee, we have people from all parts of the sector coming together to work together to put this conference together. So we have pretty much everything that we do at Alt has real people, volunteers behind it, doing the work and contributing to it. So there's very little that we do that doesn't involve um, people who are active in the sector already. We also have, I don't know why I put an animation on that, but there we go. We also have um, our board of trustees and you'll see some of them here. I've put little hands on the ones that are going to be here this week. So if you see any of these people, be careful of him. Um, no, I'm joking. Um, but if you see any of um, these uh, throughout the um, conference, they are our board of trustees chairing some set chair of the board of trustees and the board of trustees is here to make sure that we spend our money wisely and that we're doing things that represent our members so again if you've got feedback you want to share about alt or anything like that do pop along uh, and speak to them if you see them but also we have our agm on wednesday which is an important part of our governance process where as i say maren and billy will um pass the baton between each other as ceo but we also do some of the other you know saying that the accounts are all good and approving the, you know, the next year's um, uh, financial companies that we work with and various other really exciting governance things at that. But it'll also be a celebration of our 30th anniversary at that AGM. So if you are around, um, do please pop along in the main hall for that. So one of the things we do um, quite a lot is represent our members and actually our members feed into our, our you know, calls for evidence. So most recently we did a, a, a response to the DFE's generative artificial intelligence call for evidence. And again, all of our members have contributed to that response. So we produced these responses and we've done quite a few of these uh, over the years and there are just some recent examples, but we act really as a way to represent our members as much as possible with government, with other sector bodies as well. As you know, we do events, you're here at one. Yay! Um, so we do our annual conference every year around September. We also have our open education conference in uh, April every year. And we also have a winter event this year, which we will be announcing um, over the uh, course of the conference uh, on the 12th of December, which will be completely online and uh, you'll get the uh, topic and theme for that over the conference. So keep your eye out for that. But also throughout the year, we do CPD webinars and also our member and special interest groups. Um, as T. Rimley said, she's a member of the Anti-Racism and Learning Technology and Special Interest Group, do a huge amount of events throughout the year, usually online, but there will be some local you know, um, physical meetups as well. So do get involved in those if you haven't seen them as well. So there's lots of different topics, lots of local geographic um, activities as well that they do. So get involved with those if you haven't seen them. Today as well, uh, or tomorrow, at our gala dinner will be our Alt Awards. So if you haven't heard about the awards, do consider entering next year. So our awards are really here to recognize all of the hard work that people in learning technology do. Um, and it's not just, I should say, it's not just you know, the big, shiny, interesting projects. We also have awarded to people over the years who just do a really bloody good job of what they're doing. You know, it's not just about the AI people and the VR people. It's about everybody in the sector. We've got various um, categories this year. So we have the individuals, but also teams, be that a project team or a, a literal you know, team or department at university. One for leadership, also one for digital transformation, and also one around ethical ed tech. So if you have any examples of work that you're doing, you know, if you know somebody even that you think should be awarded, do encourage them and do consider yourselves um, having uh, put yourself forward. And we'll have a big celebration tomorrow night at the gala dinner if you're coming for the awards as well with live music and food and booze. What more could you ask for? As part of our work to sort of um, increase the professional recognition of learning technology, one of the things that we have is our CMALT framework. So that's certified membership of the Association for Learning Technology. And there are three pathways, associate, CMALT and senior. And essentially it's a peer reviewed portfolio. So you put together a portfolio of your work and then it's accredited by your peers and at the end, you get certified as either associate, CMALT or senior. And it's something, um, again, like all we do is hugely supported by real members, people like yourselves, 
people in the sector who work in the sector who support others to get CMALT, but also do all of the um, assessment and accreditation. Um, so if you want to find out more about that, if you're still here tomorrow afternoon for the last session of the day, and you can bear to be with me in a room for another half an hour, come along to my session tomorrow, uh, Thursday afternoon um, to hear more about CMALT if you'd like to. We also have our annual survey. So if you haven't do participate in it when it comes out, we send an email to all members. But also, if you're interested in, you know, the current trends in technology, you know, the sort of things that other people are using, you know, uh, what are the sort of trends and, and, and what are the key topics that people are interested in, we uh, publish our survey results completely openly as well, but also publish um, a couple of reports based on that survey too. Um, so you can even go and just have a look at all of the data from all of the previous surveys as well, if you wanted to do your own analysis uh, and research. As I mentioned, our special interest um, groups. So we've got our geographically located um, special interest groups and also uh, members groups, sorry. And then our special interest groups like Tirumanis um, around different um, subjects. And Teresa has been a very long time chair of our open education SIG as well. Um, so uh, a huge amount of work and a huge amount of um, contribution made um, by Teresa over the years. And uh, we have a few of them here this week, so you can meet the East Midlands group on this afternoon, if you're from the East Midlands and you want to meet some other people who are from. But also, um, tirumini has got a session um, tomorrow around anti-racism, mm -hmm. and we've also got a meetup of Teresa's group, the Open Education SIG, as well. So if you're interested in getting involved in any of those, please do come along. Just to mention as well, I said about these earlier, upstairs we have our Amplify FE team. So Amplify FE is around, you know, just increasing the recognition and the connections between people who work in further education. They're based upstairs, they've got a staff up there, and they are a project under ALT, essentially. They, uh, they, they work with us and they work with UFI um, to um, put a project together. This has been a long-standing project. They've been doing this for a long time now, and they've really made a real sort of connections with people in further education for around 2,000 of them at the moment, I think, and it's increasing every, every day to sort of communicate with each other, share resources, share and support one another. And there's a few sessions from them as well. If you're interested in Amplify FE, if you work in FE, or perhaps um, are interested in moving into that area, um, there's a couple of sessions for you to go along to as well. We also have our journal, if you didn't know as well. Um, so it's a peer reviewed open access journal. So anybody can go and access the journal at any time. And, um, Feel free to go and have a look. We've also in our museum upstairs, the Museum of Alt, we've got old of the, of the journal um, and all of the publications there. But also we've got a couple of sessions from people who have worked on the journal or who've been editors on the journal, sharing some of the trends and other things that they've seen over the past 30 years of the, the journal's existence. So do pop along to those as well. I'll just mention as well our framework for ethical learning technology. So again, this is something that is purely member led, purely member created. It has been members who came up with the framework and it is members who um, contributed to pretty much all of the work for this framework um, and have been real champions of using this in their own work and in their own institutions. So if you haven't heard of it, it's a framework really to, to help you think and work more ethically. Um, when using learning technology. So if you haven't spotted it, do go and take a look and you can also see all the various contributions and the ways in which members um, contributed to that. We also have our blog as well, um, if you didn't know. And if you like blogging and you've got something interesting to say, you're more than welcome. Any member is, is entitled to post on our blog and our editors will help you, of which Teresa was one for a very long time. Um, uh, will help you to put your post together and then um, publish that online as well. So it's a really great way for just sharing work. Maybe you've done a really interesting project recently. Maybe you've seen something, you've got a thought that you want to share, something you're working on and you kind of want to get other people involved, then do please uh, consider um, posting to the blog as well. But do go and have a read as well. We've got loads of topics, um, especially related in the past few weeks to the annual conference as well. So we shall move on. Tutti Rumini's uh, icebreaker. Yay. You'll be delighted to know the, uh, the sales pitch is over. <laughs> I shall hand over to now it's time Tutti Rumini for something a lot more interesting. Shake, shake, shake. There we go. Can you still hear me? Mike is. Yeah, all good. Good. Now we just do an F5. Oh, wait. This F5 doesn't quite work. 
There you go. Good. So as you know, that's the team we're doing the um, meet and greet. Okay, sorry, still trying to figure out this thing here. So are you ready to rock all 23, 30th birthday? Yeah, I need that to be louder now. Come on, it's like what, 9.30 now. It's got to be, we're still young, right? We're just 30. So let's do something. Now, you'll have to shout out your country. You've got like about a minute to do that, but it will have to be alphabetical order. So if it's Australia, if someone is from, I don't know, Barbados, it will have to come next. Don't wait for Z to come, okay? So we'll do that. And then if you hear your country already being said, you'll have to stand up. Is that good? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get the music. Will that work? This is gonna work. Okay, you all know this pretty mm -hmm. lion, right? Okay, before you continue, they want me to like, yeah. Okay, for now, it's not my login. So we all know that. Gotta streamline these ideas. Not a Grammarly. It's my, you got your back. Somebody's living to play. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Nah. So are we ready to shout? What's your country? Yeah. Australia? Yeah. Anybody Australia? B? Yeah. C? Yeah. D? Come on, E, F? Yeah. Next, next, next. J, K, L, M, Mauritius. Malta, okay. M, N, O. Country of origin, I'm saying here. You're gonna be pretty close. P Q Poland. So welcome, Poland. What's your name? Monica. Sorry, would you like to say your name as well, sir? James. So hi, James. Hi, Monica. Malta, Poland. I'm too many by the Mauritius. Okay. P Q R S South Africa. Sorry, right. South Africa. And what's your name? Melissa. Laura, Scotland, your name, shout out, Kat, S-T, T-T, -T. Germany, no, I'm not a country. Okay, next, next, what have we got? UK, no. next, and then anybody else, have we missed anyone? You're also from Malta, right? You didn't raise your hand, what's your name, lady? What's your name? Naomi, right? Did I get that? Did you say UK? United States. Okay. Anyway, that's you. We've got two. You, 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 you. We've got two. You. Okay. So Lion King is going to take a rest. Okay. From which country you are? From which country you are? England. Okay. So yeah, e. so she did say Scotland, E, that's Scotland. Okay, ready to rise and shine, it's sunny outside. I don't think I've ever seen such a good weather in September. Have you? People born and raised in UK, have you been? Okay, in September, I don't know, I've probably not. I've probably not been here long enough then, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Wrong. Is this yep. one? Yeah. Yay. Okay, we'll have to play. That's the thing. So now I'll need you to get up, get flip charts, and start to do something for me. And questions will come. You'll have to get up. No other choice. And I'll let you tear your own paper because this sheet is taller than me. Definitely. Definitely taller than me. Thank you. 
Thick. I'll try to reduce it if I know how to do it. And then some slides will come up. So the questions that you'll have to get, do we, you also doing, Donna? No, you're on Discord. I, I, I'm doing sorry, I didn't want to get and, sorry, I can't quite see. Oh, and you know, who didn't say their name? Did, yeah. Oh, yeah. Monica, oh, yeah. I'll tell you why. Melissa, 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 and you are going to so now 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 we don't have to post it. Why want to post it? If you can write your name and later take a picture. Only alone I will cry. I'm now. You'll never see what's happening. You have fans. I don't know. Any of the color fans. Yeah, yeah. I'm not you can write your name in the show. So, who's before 2015? Wow, okay. So who's before 2010? 20, okay, so we've got 2009. Who's before 2009? Okay. So, if this is your new one, this is your first one, you tell me how you're feeling with this event. You're celebrating 30th birthday. Tell me what has been your one word for your first conference. It's beautiful. Maybe energized. It's sunny. Any word, one word. Welcome Oh wow! Well, I've done something about that. So just make a big thing. So feel free to write your name on the post-it. Okay. Somebody from China. So hi. Now, what are you hoping to have for three days? Came yesterday. What the fuck did you want to see? Creating connections. I'm not giving you more words. Think now. Rich, I've got it down already. Psychologists have discovered that procrastination oh, isn't caused by laziness or lack of motivation, but instead it's your coping one. mechanism for dealing with your unconscious fears. So want to know the only way you can finally stop procrastinating? Okay. So let me show it to you right now, because this will transform your life, provided you take action on this, and you'll see how powerful this is. My name is Tim Ham, by the way, and I've been in this field of human behavior for the last 12 years of my life. I created a company called Success Insider, which in 2016 became the fastest growing personal development channel for all years ago. So I want you to pay close attention to this. Right now, if you think about it, you're in the present moment, right? And what you do right now is dictating your future. Is that correct? And so if you really think about it right now, it's actually very simple. Now, next one. How your success happens. It's about you, okay? It's got, got to be about you. conscious action There's in the no present moment that leads that. you to the future. But you and I know that it's easy to done because we you. sometimes fear what might happen. Now, True? Rich, you can't just keep And that's creating things sometimes stress or anxiety. And as a result, you. think about it. What do you tend well, to do? You tend to do not a lot. So why does this happen? Because we know logically we want to basically reach these big goals. Well, the I'll reason why you. is because your brain is not designed to make it successful. 
your brain is hardwired to keep you safe. Depending on what you've gone through in your life, in terms of your past, this is dictating your present moment. So every single day, you're like a hamster in the world, reliving every single day. Can have, you relate? Have we all got something? So what needs to happen for you to free yourself from you? yourself? You must reinvent yourself. You must create an identity that's already accomplished these big goals. Here's what this looks like. He's thinking hard. Once you've created it's, it's better be this good identity now that's already accomplished these big later. goals, guess what? You're no longer fear anything it's because you believe deep inside you've already accomplished it. How does this Capital process work? Thinking. Well, at the moment, you create this identity. This is the identity that will be driving you to the future. And remember, the strongest force okay. in the human psychology is the need to be congruent with how you identify yourself. In other words, outside your behavior life, never deviates from internal being a learning life. Tech, you got to reinvent your current internal whatever. Map. That's how you Reason, create actually, your boss long lasting behavior changes you in your life. Here. If you like to discover exactly how you can do that in your life, and how I did that in my life, as well as I'm uh, taking my students through. And I'm hosting a free live web class very soon. And I'm not to have you part of this transition transformation channel. process. So Claim your free spot. We have to click the link here. Yeah. And when you land on the page, simply click on that button and put your name and email. And I'll send you a private email containing your meeting join link. And from there, you'll be able to tune in when we're about to go live. And Belgium. also I'll spare some of my time to take your personal questions as well. Because I know how transformational this process will be. This has been one of the most profound shifts I've had in the last 12 years. I've been, for example, checking okay. out different videos, going through different courses, reading pretty now. much every it's single book YouTube under thing. the sun in terms of personal transformation. Play. You've um, got to reinvent yourself. That's yeah, the no, only you way can, you can close this. I need the slide back. So slide, slide eight, eight, please. Okay. So now you'll have to tell me what's the most interesting thing that I wish there was a clicker. I have one every month. Oh, I have one. It's full and the battery has <laughs> melted in it. So, okay, you'll have to share with me what's the most interesting thing that came That's up right. at your table. Oh, Will you be able wow. to click, click on the next, next slide? Next now, one. we have China and Belgium online. Yeah. They've got to keep posting something fun about them because okay. I'm curious about them. And okay, when was my old conference? It was, next slide, please, Carrie. Mine was in 2017. Who, you, no, you were 20. Oh, that's way, way, way long back. And te yeah, Teresa wins the next one. What was? So, one word to describe your first alt. Okay, I'll tell you a funny one about mine. It's the same we were. There was a fire alarm. Okay, I went there only for one day. I think it was day two, and there was a fire alarm. That's the only thing I could remember. Last week, there was an LTH chat, and everybody was saying fun thing about their first alt. And I was like, fire alarm, fire alarm. And yesterday, a rich good man shared a picture of everyone standing outside. And I was in the picture. I was like, hey, that's not there. Because I thought it was in Manchester for some, I don't know, reason. And it was in Liverpool. Do you remember that? Yeah. The fire alarm? What are your memories of your first art what have you got that's not a memory but i do have a funny story that sticks in my mind mm -hmm. we went to the one at nottingham and they had the conference dinner then they had a firework display and everybody at from our table went out for the firework display and we thought that everybody had gone permanently and had left half bottles of wine on their table so we went round and collected half bottles of wine that were left over from everybody and then they all came back and we were we were devastated and they were all in front of my colleague Sue, and apparently the next day everybody was coming up to her and saying, so "You're the person who stole our wine." <laughs> <laughs> so okay, we'll have to watch for our wine glasses this evening. <laughs> what what have you got at this table? Who wants to say something funny that when you were at your last conference? But what came up at your table? I think this is quite a few of our first conference. Okay. So, yeah. so we've got a lot of first timers. First timers. Um, so James, go James. So how, how are you feeling about this conference then? Excited. So excited. <laughs> so excited. Okay. One word. Okay, so last year I had COVID at this time, so I had to join by Discord only. So for those out on Discord and out there, it is worth hanging in there and participating. It's not the same as being in person, yeah. but there's a lot going on there, so it's so, worth hanging in. 
That's people joining us today from Belgium and China. Kat is saying it's really worth joining in. Okay, so we've got the next one. So Kerry has gone. I'll have Kerry. to play along with it now. Kerry. What? It, sorry. She's yeah. Fine. So what are you hoping to get out of all twenty three? Okay. For me, it's to create moments and momentum. What came up at your table? We'll go to Teresa this time. Sorry, I'm using the mic so people can hear it in the recording as well. Which was the quick question? What are you hoping to get out of Alt 23? Uh, just friendship, consolidating friendship. I'm very grateful to still be here after all these years yeah. and to see familiar faces and to meet new people. Lots of new people at this yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be you. very similar. I would like to meet new meet people. people. Meet new people. There you go. That's a new people coming in. So at your table, what came up? Um, for me again, because because it's new, like I've said, just making new great connections. Right? Making new great connections. Okay, you know, Teresa, you've got to make connections with these people. They're all seeking to <laughs> they're all seeking for connections. Okay, you've got to entertain them because my entertainment ends after the meet and greet. Now, okay, what are you wait? What what does all turning thirty means to you? To me, well, it means. It's an, a full-fledged adult now, okay? It's grown up. No more mom and dad excuses, you know? Oh, I'm this in real, my relationship or whatever because mom was this, dad was this. No more of that. So I'm just looking forward for it peaking at his 40 now. I'm planning for the next 10 years. What came about at your table? I'm afraid my response to that was meh. Yeah. It doesn't mean that much to me. It's yeah, great, it's all crap, but... 30 years ago, my professional career... I was getting involved in learning technology. So 30 years ago, I got involved in Eurocall as well, <laughs> who are also celebrating their 30 year anniversary this year. Okay. So yeah, I wrote a blog post. So good. Yeah. You should tweet that. Put it on Discord. Do we have any anyone saying anything cool on Discord it's there? I'll put your set of attention now, lady. <laughs> so what does all turning 30 mean to you? I wrote achievement. Achievements, yes, for you as well, okay, not no, just for all, no, just for for us and, and mostly well, for you as but well. For you me you as know, well. we all alt alt doesn't exist without exciting people like us, right? Alt is just a name. So alt with you, center now. What does alt turning thirty mean? I'm so busy writing, thinking. Um, it's quite it's a exciting future ahead, but it's also building on all the successes of the past. So you've got two things um, that will be really a way to look ahead yeah so. and she's got loads of writing you should make her pose it later on she's been really thinking hard about it sorry i've got to go this back and forth thing um now one fun fact about you i'll come to your table i'll tell you what i'm from mauritius if you know where that is it's a very tiny 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 island in the ocean and i still don't know how to swim i can just about float that's it and if you're in a ship with me and Titanic is happening, I can't save you. You're going to be the one, you know, holding to that piece of wood. And I'm probably going to be on the wood trying to save myself. I can't save you. So don't get on with me on a cruise. You'll have to save me. Otherwise, what has come up on your table? One fun fact. Uh, this was the one fun fact. I'm a cat mum. I'm retired and I'm a cat mum. That's what I do now. Is, is there something else that came from, from yours? I'm on first name terms with the royalty. Ooh. I mean, if you want to know about that, when we've had a few glasses of wine at the conference dinner, I'll tell you. Oh, but it's okay. not really that exciting, to be honest. <laughs> well, you'll have to come to my workshop because we're going to do an activity like that oh, okay. later. So that's at two o'clock, by the way. So what have we got here? So who hasn't spoken yet at this table? Perfect. Um... Oh, yeah, you were thinking. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to tell me. <laughs> Well, fun fact, I mean, I, I love cycling a lot, you know, so. Uh, More than that. Do you cycle with? Well, I, I, I have a cycling buddy. Yeah, um, we want to know more. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said I'm curious, right? <laughs> um, I'm just, I mean, it's just, we're not professional cyclists, you know, so we go, say, three times a week cycling. Okay. And it's a week and he's. Being shy to tell about it. I don't I, even know I, I how don't to know whether cycle. it's fun. It's fun. I don't it's a fun thing. Cycle. Of course, it's fun going for cycling three times a week. 
who has another fun fact here at the table that's really like i put up i, I do competitive ballroom dancing <laughs> what do you do i do competitive ballroom dancing Wow. In my downtime. Okay, we've got a reception later on. We'll find that out tomorrow. My 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 dance partner is is at home, and if I just dance by myself, I tend to do like dad dancing with fingers. So can we do that with you? Yeah. yeah. Will, 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 will that make you to do something more? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Can, can we get pictures? Can we get pictures yeah, later? Sure. On? So Laura is gonna post pictures for us. Okay, on Discord. I'm gonna put you in the center. Oh, no. One fun fact about you. So that's Carolyn. Okay. One fun fact about you? Um, I played roller derby for my country once. Wow. Okay, we we we've got some great thing here. One who's with uh one name basis, we're first name basis, we're royalty, we've got dancers, we've got cyclists. Uh I put that I used to know Bruno Mars before he was famous. Okay, you all should come to my workshop later on. Okay, <laughs> we have activities like this, and I want to hear that. Um, well, I wrote down that I database every book I read, but I also have an uncle who was shot by the Italian mafia. So I guess that's oh wow. <laughs> Don't grow up in Naples in the nineties. <laughs> okay, that that's more fun. <laughs> the the shot the shot one was one a unique thing, but then it was like okay, but yeah, the Naples. Do you have anything else interesting? Uh, I, put, I put down that I'm a member of a very large online community of runners, cyclists, and fun people called Fetch Everyone. And uh, so my fun fact is I'm a Fetchy. Okay. <laughs> he, he was scared of saying he's a cyclist. He was not even, he didn't even want to talk about it. So one thing which you have in common outside your professional life. Okay, to me, I tweeted about it already this morning. I was like, it's very rare that I get to say rise and shine in the UK with this weather. And I'm from the tropics, okay? Sun, winter, we have just two seasons, summer and winter. And it's always sunny. Even in winter, it will drizzle and the sun will come out again. So that's my one thing probably, you know, British weather talk. I think I've got that probably with everyone in common. What, what came up here? Crafts. Yes. yes. Crafts. Yeah. After a bit of digging, I, I, I'm a woodworker, and yeah, you I, do. I'm kind of into craft, but not very good at it. So okay, but uh, still, so, but still, we we all we all trying to be into something here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think we got that far. No. Yeah. 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 Got that far? Yeah. I'll let you dig in your mind a bit more. Did you did you get the fifth question? Did you get the fifth? I mean, we're all not from the UK. So <laughs> international table. Yeah, that's the international table. And who, who would like to do a selfie, by the way? We need a picture of that international table. Yeah, sure. I just put Instagram, I'm like, do I tweet? Is tweeting still a thing? It's still <laughs> still, yeah. But you I'm still doing it. I'm not an actor on yet. What what has come up online, Donna? What has come up online? Um I'm bouncing around from channels. Okay. Um, we asked we asked Matt Lingard, who has been at all for a long time, about a funny thing. So he's okay. trying to think of something. Okay, let me <laughs> let me know what, what he's saying. So are we good on time? We're good on yeah. time. So we apparently could do quite a few things right now. We could keep talking or we could give ourselves a big round of applause. And if you would like to take a picture of your flip chart put on Discord, that would be great. Or whatever social media you're using. Now, I'm part of the accessibility subcommittee. I've got to tell you, please put alt text to your images because there'll be some social media posts anyway coming later and telling you to do that. So I'd rather tell you to do it now. So Laura is gonna, gonna take care of this table. Yep. That's, that's difficult that's to alt text. Say again? That's difficult to alt text. Uh, no, just put some amazing yeah. international people, Malta, South Africa, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Poland. Oh, you're yeah. both from South Africa, right? But by the way, you all good for pictures, right? We've got a cameraman here. So he's been taking some picture. If you want to come in the front, take picture as well. They apparently are all okay with that. So... <clears throat> Say again. Um, talking about social media, I forgot about Mastodon. So, 
I'll have to throw that ball to you. Oh, you've got something in your in your hand. You'll have to tell me some more. I heard your fun fact, right? Did I hear your fun fact? Uh, mine is fun. So catch. Oh. Mine is, I love to spend time by the sea in all its weathers, whether it's sunny or rainy or cloudy or whatever. So just love to be by the sea when I can in my spare time. Good. Uh, did you say were you from where? Yeah. You're from here? Uh, from the UK. From the UK. So, so whereby do you go? Um, because I live in Hampshire, so I tend to go along the Solent's. Um, okay. I prefer it in, in all kinds of weathers, which is not shared by my family. They like it in the sunshine, but I like it in all weathers. Who, who likes beaches here? Okay. You need to ask her where the coolest beach is because she goes to the beach summer, winter, and everything. So oh, yeah. she knows how to go there because I still don't know how to go whether with boots or with slippers. I can't quite know the weather, so she's she's the person to know that. So yeah, these are people who are like summery weather, right? Yeah. So yeah, you like beaches. What silly question, right? I heard about your fun fact. Did I hear about your fun fact? Um, <laughs> okay. So during lockdown, I decided to become a musician, and uh, this year I got my first royalty check, which is enough to buy an ice cream. Okay. That's fun fact. There you go. That's a fun That's fact. Did, did you hear about her fun fact? His fun fact. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Is it even working? The old radio. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh God. Okay, would you right. like to repeat that? So what was that? Um, so during, the during lockdown, I decided to become a musician. Um, so I released an EP this year, got my first royalty check, and it's enough to buy an ice cream with. Okay, so we've, we've got someone who released music here. We've got someone who released some music during COVID, and, well, he managed to get enough royalty for an ice cream. Did I hear that properly? An ice cream with a flake, yes. Mm. So we'll, are we expecting some more royalties to come, yes. like, you know, oh, yeah. a bit more? I mean, so. yeah, I mean, that's in just a few months. So, I mean, it could be up okay. to two, three ice creams by the end of the year. Okay. So you, you should definitely put that on Discord. Like, there are 400 delegates, <laughs> so they could get you, I don't know, 10 ice cream by the end of the year. Well, tempting. As, well, it would be good if it's this week. I mean, if they listen so to it all once, that would be one more ice cream, maybe. This week. We're aiming for this week. Kat, I think I heard yours. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, now the mic is working. Why was not that working before? Sorry, do we, do we have somebody else? You have to get two doublets to get the, the flight. Oh, you know, that's right. I'll, I'll just say, do we have, okay, we have John Kilroy. Well, we haven't heard from you. Oh, sorry, right. What's your, what's your fun fact? My fun fact. About you. It needs to be about you, okay? We have dancers, ballroom dancers, cyclists. Uh, we've got someone who during COVID uh, recorded some music and managed to get enough roll for an ice cream. We've got cyclists. What else have I missed? Interesting. There were a few interesting things. Yeah, I think I, 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 COVID, uh, during COVID, I took up um, sea swimming during the winter. Oh, uh, wow. And then I, um, no, I'm addicted to it. I can't, can't stop. So, yeah. Sea swimming in yeah, winter. Yeah, yeah, the colder the better at this stage. Wow. Sure. Okay, yeah. I'm from Mauritius and you're telling me this. Oh, sorry. Everyone thinks I'm new. Okay, because 20 degrees is winter for us. Yeah, 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 okay? yeah. 15, I'm probably getting my gloves out. Right <laughs> so if you're in the Irish Sea, yeah, you chilly. should relish the cold. Yeah, that's yeah. All you're going to get. Uh, so Dublin, Dublin. Dublin, Ireland. okay. Yeah, yeah. Someone we've from got Dublin. Another country, we've I got another say. country, yeah. yeah. So we've got, we've got China and Belgium online, and we've got quite a few countries here. So, but, wait, oh, I forgot the next questions. So, we can actually just end here, jump, dance, do whatever we want, or go grab a coffee. We've got the welcome in the main hall happening. And uh, please do continue to network. There are lots of new people as well who, are have, who haven't attended yet. They are I think there was someone who was tweeting about breakfast it's still, like nine o'clock. <laughs> so some people are still having breakfast. I think they are just about in the halls here. So... Um, Feel free to do whatever, take a picture, put on Discord, please. Uh, and uh, we'll also take some picture, tweet, put on social media. And thank you so much for being here. Big round of applause for yourself, please. So thanks for playing along and you're good to go. Like, you know, dismiss the class. Thank you very much. That was good. You're fun. welcome. That you're welcome. Really you're welcome. Yeah.